Hey guys, Green back here with more Heroes Bash. Today, we're talking about that tier listing for more humans. Um, so again, we're going to go more in depth with this, starting with Siege Defense, my favorite role and aspect. Again, the reason, easier to win than defend. I don't know a single person who believes otherwise. Now, Siege Defense... Humans is where you kind of start out with. They're going to try to give you some of those C-list and B-list type champions first, D-list. Um, ignore them. <laughs> uh, there are some reasons to have them. Don't get me wrong. Um, use them as you level up. But you're going to notice there's going to be a certain point where we'll probably drop them off. Um, I believe heroes will probably be the next new champion because they're the next one in the level creep that needs somebody. Um, orcs needed it super bad. They got it with Imperatus. Uh, anyways, Siege Defense. Let's start start with Atalos. Atalos being the number one champion again, top left corner, um, is my favorite. He's one of those champions I've found that, again, kind of like Thanatos, if he's overpowered in comparison to the team attacking him, he can just destroy the entire team. If someone breaks off and doesn't follow the team, he will single-handedly pick off just about any champion in the game. Um, his ability to one-on-one -on -one something is great. Get his cooldown reduction up, get his attack damage up, and he's just beast. Um, Kyrie. Kyrie is one of those champions that's kind of like uh, Arachne. Um, has very big burst damage um, with those explosions of her three little dudes that kind of seek out it has huge range sometimes as well can do um pretty good combos with people like azel again atalos curie and azel those three clumped together hurt i mean really hurt um anyways <laughs> poppy poppy's range can be overpowered that stun um pretty cool rain Ability to shoot those Sharpays. Sharpays actually do pretty good damage over time. Um, but range being just kind of their, their number one thing for, for the reason why they're there. Um, PvP aspects wise. Let's see here. Um, maybe we can drop over to PvP. Boom! PvP things change up a little bit. So PvP wise, I believe that the um, team like stamina attack all that kind of the benefits that poppy gives is one of the best also her back range and stun become more useful in terms of just locking down the enemy i think cc uh crowd control things like stuns are a huge thing for pvp uh curie amazingly enough does really well because of again that that burst damage also, the ability that when her guys blow up and become little guys, they create like a little army if they don't have AoE attackers. If they're all like single hit type people, those little guys end up doing a lot of damage that starts to stack and stack and stack. They almost have to use an AoE champion when battling Kiri. Uh, Adelos and Rain, I found both just be lacking a little bit in terms of PvP. Um... I've heard really good things about like their healer, uh, again, the freeze aspects, all that kind of stuff. It, it's more of a comp. Um, the teams that are going to be harder to fight in PvP, I think, will be elves and orcs. Humans just don't have the big tank. Uh, they don't have the big heal. They don't have the huge continual damage. Um, they need more right now. They have more of the, I'm going to stun you, I'm going to be strategic about this, and maybe team it with some other guys, in my opinion. But humans right now, PvP-wise, are underpowered. Uh, anyways, let me know what you guys think. Uh, who are you leveling? Is somebody, again, should be higher up on this list, or maybe lower, in your opinion? Leave a comment below. Like, subscribe, bash on, and as always... Have a great day.